Hi guys. Um, it's been a really long time since I ever did a haul. I would do a haul. I didn't do one when I came back from CHA because that was way too overwhelming. But I'm gonna do one now. I went to a convention yesterday with my mom and some friends, and that was really fun. I ordered some stuff. And I want to show you what I got, and I want to show you the layouts that I did, but the titles have not come on yet because I want to use my Cricut. So that's the reason why I do this. But, I bought these flowers. Let's see, I have two packs. They're really cute. I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm going to see if I can see them here. Can you see? Oh, let's open this one up. See? They're kind of purple if you guys can see it but they're really cute and they weren't expensive as I thought they would because they're really popular here to use those little roses I also bought one in a pink color of course that's just me I know you guys can't see the color really but I'm just gonna show you anyways I bought two packs of white um, foam dots there's a big, there's little squares and there's big squares. I already opened one, so I, it's going to be somewhere in my mess. And I bought two black ones too. They're really nice to work with and they're really easy to peel off the backing when you need it. I also bought two glossy accents because I always either lose one or I use them out way too fast. So... They're going to come over here, too. I have never tried the other ones. I've just tried the glossy one, but that's also my favorite. So I bought one of these a long, long time ago to pick up pieces from when you use your Cricut, like Christina does in her videos. But I decided to buy one more. The other one is totally dried up, so I can't use it. I bought Artemio. Uh, cutouts. I think it's wood. Uh, it doesn't say. But there are three, there's three pieces in here of this bird and I want to do a mini album with this shape from Artemio too. And I'm going to do a class on this one so you guys are going to be prepared to see these two again. I also bought my Pride and Joy. I bought, I finally bought my, this is called Monarch, Monarch Butterfly. It's really pretty. So I finally bought that. I love this one and it's been used a lot since I got it. I also bought the, the Border Punch with butterflies. Everybody that knows me knows that I have this thing with butterflies now. So there has to be butterflies on every layout that I do almost and I also bought the one for the corners these were not in a double pack I just bought them the way they were I don't mind spending money on tools speaking of tools here's the next one I purchased the iRock tool and I was so excited to see this because when I was a kid we could do our own jewelry on our t shirts or whatever and we did so that kind of reminds me of way back when so I bought that one and I bought the uh, jewel setter sticks right here I also bought some jewels and I started up with the, the colored ones but I decided to take the plain ones instead different sizes and I like the fact that they're different sizes in this one so this is just the clear ones okay I of course had to buy some Tim Holtz and this time it was the retro grunge paper stack and I have to say I looked at this and I was fairly impressed let's see if you guys can see it it's kind of hard Holding it up like this, and of course they're double-sided, and I wanted some real retro, boyish kind of uh, paper, so that was it. And I also I have the pink stack too, but I really like this one too. So 
gonna go right down here. I also bought a pre-cut dies, a banner. It's a real almost 12 by 12 banner. And I bought the plates that had to go with it, the acrylic plates and the adapter. But my mom has it because we decided to split it. So I can borrow it for a while, she can borrow it for a while. That's just easier that way because that was getting way too expensive. But we decided to split it. So I, I'm sorry I can't show you that one. But I can show you the next thing that I bought. And this is the first time that I have ever spent so much money on cardstock. But ever since I found out how incredible my gypsy and my expression, cricket expression is, I just can't get enough of cardstock. And whenever I scrap, I almost use, almost all the time, I pick up a, a cardstock as a base. As a base, yeah. So that was what I bought. And now I want to show you guys what I did. I don't have any mojo lately. I don't know why. I find it hard to scrapbook, but I want to show you, and like I said, there's no titles on it, so I'm sorry. This is one. I just wanted to see how many photos I could put on one layout and still have room for the title and maybe some drawing. Sometimes I don't put any drawing on because I think that the pictures speak for themselves. I also have one with a butterfly. And that is so cute, which is the whole cute thing about this layout. It's right here. I think it is so cute. And right now I have a thing with matting my photos. It's crazy. And I have a thing for double layouts too. So let me show you the first one. This is the banner that we bought. We saw it at one of the stores, actually my favorite store that was there. She did a layout where she put the title up here on this banner. So we decided to buy the die and that's where all the plates came in. So that was one page. And like I said, I had no mojo and sometimes it actually shows on the layout or most of the time. This is the other one. I just turned up the, the banner upside down. So I have it here and right here I used my corner punch with my butterfly because you got to have butterflies. So it kind of looks like this. Right? You got one here, and you have one here. So, like I said, I don't have any mojo. I wish I did. But I need to get my thoughts together, because I have a class on Friday. So, I need to step up to the plate and get some scrapping done. I want to show you one last thing, though. I want to show you the latest trends in script. I think it's going to be one of the latest trends. Besides butterflies, owls, and all that, I have these stamps from Kaiser Craft, which is my obsession right now. That's the air, hot air balloons. I think they're going to rock, but I have no. I have only seen these at Kaiser Craft, like the hot air balloons. So. I think we're going to see a lot more of those, and I really like this ticket down here, I bought this stamp set. No, I got this stamp set at um, CHA, and it was in my goodie bag, but look out for the hot air balloons because they rock. Okay, what else? I have this, we got this, this is a Scrap and Dream sketchbook that we got in our goodie bag, and I think the layouts are okay. I haven't seen any of these before unless, I don't know, they're taken from somewhere, but I think that they actually designed them themselves. But I kind of like the fact that you can write over here if you have some special idea about what you want to do. Okay, I'll talk to you later, and I hope you like my haul. Bye.